Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part 12 of the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, we're gonna be looking at some audio that we've recorded that's got a little bit of nasty noise in the background. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that kind of noise using Audacity in your own recordings so you can get the highest quality and most clean audio possible. First, let's briefly go over what I mean exactly by noise. Noise can come from all sorts of places. It can be noise that's inherent in your recording equipment. All microphones and preamps, especially low quality ones, will have a certain level of noise, just kind of fuzzy, white, low level noise in the background. Now, normally this isn't gonna be a huge problem, um, especially if you've got some proper recording gear, uh, but low quality recording gear can have quite a lot of noise and it can start to impact the recordings and make them sound quite unprofessional and unpleasant to listen to. Also, it could be sort of real life noise as in things in the background when you're recording, especially if you're recording at home. Um, you could have something like a, you know, a washing machine or dryer on in the, ne in the next room, um, or you could have the sound of cars going past your window, whatever. We don't want it in there. Ideally, you're gonna be avoiding those things to begin with in your recordings, but sometimes, um, especially if you have to record in a public place or, or at home, it's unavoidable. So I'm gonna show you the trick that we can use in Audacity to get rid of it or at least reduce it as much as possible. So I'll just play something that I've got for you. I've got just got a little clip of me talking on a podcast and it's got a little bit of noise in the background. Have a listen. And then you've got dynamic microphones which don't require power. So you can hear that fuzzy white noise in the background. So the tool that we're gonna be using to remove or at least reduce that today is under the effects uh, the, the effects menu in the menu bar and you go down to noise reduction. So if we just click on that and have a look what we've got, noise reduction, okay. So if you just click on it with no audio selected, it's gonna tell you to select some audio. So we wanna, we wanna um, affect the whole thing on, on the whole piece of audio. So you can drag your cursor along it or with the uh, selection tool, or you can just hold control or command and press A to select everything. Then we go to the effects menu, noise reduction. So it basically tells you what, what you need to do. Step one, select a few seconds of, of just noise so Audacity knows what to filter out and then click get noise profile. So that's gonna tell Audacity what the noise sounds like, uh, what frequency it is so that it knows exactly what it needs to get rid of. And then step two, we'll be making a few adjustments to sort of how much noise is gonna be reduced. So let's try and find as, uh, as as larger a gap as possible where it's just noise that we're hearing. There's a nice big gap here, let's have a listen. But yeah, okay, so if we select that, got a nice piece of noise there. Now, I understand that certain recordings aren't gonna be ide in an ideal place for this. Like You might not have any gaps or the, the noise might change throughout, but just find the biggest area of noise that you can, even if it's got a little bit of shuffling and, and things. It's just we're doing the best we can here with a bad recording, ultimately. So, so I'm gonna grab that noise, then I'm gonna go back into effect, noise reduction, and then just click get noise profile. So it's learned the noise now. Now we can highlight the whole thing again, using the selection tool or control A, go back to noise reduction, and then we're looking at step two. So we've got three options here. Noise reduction in decibels, that's the level you want to reduce the noise by. So on, on the default 12, it's gonna reduce that noise uh, by 12 decibels. And let's leave it on that for now and we can always listen back. Sensitivity, this is how sensitive it is to the audio, um, what it picks up as noise. So a very low sensitivity, um, one for example, it's only gonna pick out the bits that are pure noise, really noisy, and then something like that right right at the top there, it's going to be picking up anything with noise on. So that's going to start affecting the actual voice, the actual recording as well. So you need to be careful with these settings. If you do it too high, it's going to start degrading the actual audio. But again, we can have a listen to what it does and make adjustments. Then frequency smoothing helps to just retain the quality of the audio. The more smoothing you have, the less likely you are to get sort of artifacts or weird bits of noise here and there. But again, it can um, affect the quality of the audio. So let's just leave it on default for now. Oh, I think it was on six default. And then we want to unreduce because that removes the noise. Residue removes everything other than the noise. So we don't want that. And we can click, click preview and, and have a listen. And then you've got dynamic microphones which 
don't require power and they're a lot so it's definitely a lot lower um, you can hear the the voice sounds slightly affected slightly distorted let's see if we can reduce the sensitivity a little bit and uh, maybe increase the amount that it's reduced by because there is still a bit of noise in there and then you've got dynamic microphones which don't require power and they're a lot yeah i mean that sounds good that sounds almost gone the noise um it does have that that little bit of uh kind of distorted warbliness to the voice let's try with the with the smoothie and then you've got dynamic microphones which don't require power and they're a lot that sounds pretty good uh let's try around here maybe see if we can get away with a little bit less noise reduction 16 db and then you've got dynamic microphones okay yeah we're hearing hearing that noise back in there now try 18 and then you've got dynamic microphones which don't require power and they're a lot i think that's a good balance you gotta you gotta make a compromise and and see what works best so let's click OK and just take a couple of seconds and then that's affecting the whole audio. Let's have a listen now. For, for anyone who's recording at home, if you've got a room that isn't is kind of echoey or you've just got... So we don't have the noise in there anymore. Let's have a listen to, to before. For, for anyone who's recording at home, if you've got a room that isn't is kind of... So it is kind of a shame we've lost a little bit of the clarity on the vocal, but it's much more pleasant to listen to. It's, it wouldn't even probably be accepted by a lot of, uh, for example, if you were doing an ebook or a podcast, a lot of the hosts might not even accept such a noisy recording. So it does sound more professional. And we can always do a bit of EQ and compression things uh, to try and improve the, the vocal sound further, but we're going to be going over that in a later video. Now that you've got some lovely recordings and you've got them as clean as possible, uh, we're going to move on to the editing stage. The next two parts are all about editing your audio, about getting them sounding as seamless and professional as possible. And don't forget at the end of this course I'm going to be sharing with you something that's super useful that you can download for free to speed up your workflow and continue your learning with Audacity. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon below so you're the first to know when the next video is up. Leave a like if this video helped you and let me know in the comments section below what audio are you working on in Audacity. And as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part 13.